everyone and Merry Christmas. This is 12 Days of Data Science, also known as 12 Things I Learned About Data Science by Working in the Field that I Didn't Learn in University. And I really wish I did. Let's go! Hello? Why didn't you HTTP request me back? You don't know what APIs are? Make sure you understand APIs and everything that has to do with requests and making calls over the internet. Look up services like Postman and learn how to use libraries like Flask if you work with Python. You have to be able to make small websites that you use to make requests or move data around or start off different, more complex applications. Otherwise, you're not going to get a call back. It's the age-old question. What came first? Decision or recall? Know your KPIs, and by that I mean key performance indicators. It's what tells you if you're going to be successful or not with your project. If you don't know that in advance, you're probably not going to be successful with your project. Always look up stuff you don't know. There's no point in wasting time trying to figure everything out yourself when the answer is going to be on Stack Overflow. But don't copy everything you find on Stack Overflow. Try to understand the code and replicate it yourself. Otherwise, you're never gonna actually learn anything. There's a balance. Learn how to make pretty plots. Yes, pretty. Functional, but pretty. Don't underestimate the value of people liking what they see, especially marketing. Use that to your advantage. Don't scoff at things that aren't purely mathematical or statistical based. Pretty works for you. Jupyter Notebooks. They're great for telling a story with your data. You can show this to a lot of non-technical, non-coding people. And as long as there are a lot of safe words and pretty pictures around, they'll be able to follow what you're trying to say a lot easier than if you show them a bunch of files. They're great for telling a story while still keeping things quite technical. Not so great for DevOps though. DevOps! I know, I know. You're not a software engineer, you're not a developer, you don't want to hear about it. It's basically as boring as this white background behind me. But it can be really helpful to have a DevOps or a GitHub project to keep track of the work. If you're playing in a team or if you're playing by yourself, code-wise, it's very helpful to know what's going on, what's been happening. If you've gone away for a few days, you can always see the latest uh, stage of everything. And it's also very helpful to go back on your mistakes. And there will be mistakes. There's always mistakes. Make sure you know who the model is for. That's your end user. Make sure you understand how they want to use your solution and what they actually need from you. You might end up creating something that you think is really cool, but they don't actually want to use it the way that you designed it. So you have to start over and do the work all over again, and that's just wasting time. Make sure you really focus on the requirements before you start. Communication. It's not just for healthy relationships. Don't overdo it with regex. Don't do it. When you look back at your code months or maybe years from now, you're not going to think, oh my god, I got 20 lines of code in 20 characters. Awesome. No, no, you're going to think, what the hell was I doing? I have no idea what this code does, I have no idea where it went wrong, and I don't know how to proceed. Don't do this to yourself. Don't over-optimize. Nope. Don't do it. Nope. Ask a lot of questions about your data. Will it be there before the project starts? Will it be clean? Will I have access to it? If they tell you, don't worry about it, everything's fine, all the data sources have been collected for you, don't trust them. If they tell you, don't worry, the data is clean, you barely have to make any transformations on it, you can use it as soon as you start the project. They are lying. Learn to explain your work in a simple way. The point is not to sound like the smartest, most alien language speaking person in the room. The point is for everyone to understand what you're working on and what your challenges are. Trust me, it's worth it to win over your stakeholders. More worth it than sounding like the smartest person there and asserting your dominance. 
Or you could do both. Shh. You have to care about security. A lot of the work that you do is probably going to be in a virtual machine or behind a VNet because of your company's policies. It's good to at least be a little bit aware about it and understand basic security functions and protocols. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of extra drama for all the things you can't do normally with your data science project. Shh! Care about security! <sighs> Thanks for watching this video, it was a lot of fun to make, especially in the Christmas period when we're all a little bit extra cheery. I also wanted to shout out to Kenji and Andrew, they made the Data Scientist Say videos that kind of inspired this montage as well. They're both really cool channels for data science resources as well. Kenji has a 66 days of data science challenge that can take you along a journey to become a better data scientist and Andrew can teach you how to be a better paid data scientist. And he uploads every single day, which is pretty insane. I don't, I make videos once a week. If you guys like this and wanna see more content from me, consider subscribing and like this video. Thank you all and have a good holiday season. Bye.